Mr. President, this morning, a great tragedy had befallen the nation. And on this somber occasion, the family of former President Jerry John Rawlings is here to inform you formally of the person of our former president. The family is led by Colonel Agbuchi, at this juncture, the spokesperson, Mr. Blaguji, has been kindly invited to speak. Mr. Blaguji. Thank you very much, Chair. Uh, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nanaru Dankwakufado. Honorable um, Chief of Staff, members of the, the government, as it has been said, a great tragedy has befallen us as a country and as a family. Some four weeks ago, we were here to inform the presidency of the death of our mother, our grandmother, our sister, and uh, 
the president, because of his special love for the ex-president, the former president, assisted us a lot in the burial of our mother. Uh, just some few weeks or some few days after the burial, the former president, Jerry John Rawlings, fell sick and was hospitalized. A lot of efforts were made. I know the president was in touch with his brother. Little did we know that the former president will leave us. So we've come here formally to inform the president and the entire government that this is what has happened. It is true. Jerry John Rollins is no more. And uh, uh, we deem it appropriate to, to come and inform you officially. And uh, with me, the delegation is Colonel uh, Joshua Botri, Honorable Zanato Rollins, Mr. Michael Susudis, Asantua Rollins, Amina Rollins, and then the Celia Aholu, and then uh, Richard, Uncle Richard, <laughs> Bill Captain Richard Fojo. So we have, we've come this evening to formally inform you of what has befallen us and has befallen the nation. Thank you very much. Chief of Staff, Colonel Agbutri, members of the Rawlings family. First of all, I have to welcome you to the seat of the presidency of our country, the Jubilee House, and extend my deepest condolence and sympathies to the family. To now, we have to call her his widow. Children, brothers, cousins, entire family. I was given this information this morning when I arrived at the office. And um, I found it hard up to now to really incorporate, assimilate the information. This is a man of great vitality. Dynamism and energy. It's very difficult to conceive of him as a dead body lying in a morgue. Or... But then, I think one of the things that all of us have got to use, have got to get used to is that the Almighty has his own plans for each one of us. And improbable as some things may be, nevertheless they happen. It's a moment for reflection and for continuing to believe in his purpose, that he has a purpose for each one of us. And as it appears, former president's work here on earth has come to an end. He and I had a, a tempestuous relationship going over many, many years. But I believe that we came to see value in each other. That's how I put it, by the end. 
extremely disturbed and saddened by his passage. He's not an ordinary Ghanaian. He was the first president of our fourth republic, a man who held the supreme office in Ghana, and therefore his passage has to be a matter for the Ghanaian nation. I know the feeling of family on such an occasion, but I think that you would understand if I say that on the death of such a man, precedence has to be given to the state of Ghana. So the chief of staff, their office, will be in touch with Colonel Abutri and the family, and Akonedu Ajiman Rawlins, for us to agree on how we proceed. Time for funeral and all those things have to be agreed upon, but that the state has to pull out all the stops and make sure that he's given a most befitting and dignified exit. I'm determined to do that. I think his contribution to this country's history is there for all to see. And at the end, he's had to leave. I think a grateful nation should show its appreciation of him and the manner in which it organizes his send-off. So I'd like you to tell a former First Lady that that is a decision that I have taken was to give him a state funeral, and that between her and the chief of staff, whatever arrangements that have to be made will be made. Clearly, the wishes of the family cannot be ignored, and they will not be ignored. But at the end of the day, the actual processes will be the processes of the Ghanaian nation. Just give him a befitting send-off. So I'm um, appreciate very much your coming to inform me fully and formally of this development. When I was informed about it, I did through the chief of staff inform the family. You know, that having regard to who he was, I believe that the announcement of his death to the country should be the responsibility of the president. And it is on that basis that I had issued a statement announcing formally the death of President Rawlins. So that therefore prov provides us with the framework within which we can go forward. I am, uh, I know the Colonel very well from a long time ago. I know his attachment to his nephew and the beautiful children. How oh, they must be truly shattered by what has happened today. Extend my deepest condolence to you to your sisters and to your brother. It's not going to be an easy time for you these days ahead of us. But I'm sure that some of the strength in him is in you as well. So you'll find a way of being able to accommodate the, the, the development. I want to thank you once again for coming to give us this news in a formal manner. We're Ghanaians and we know how these things are done.
that as I say, um, on the part of the state, no effort will be spared to make sure that the president is sent off like a president, a man who has held the highest office. For many people, the founder of the Fourth Republic, and we should honor him as such. Excellency, we are thankful for your kind words and the plans that you have for the burial of the former president, Jerry John Rollins. Our hearts are very heavy at this time, and uh, we just want to say thank you for all the promises, and we hope we'll give our brother fitting burial. Thank you. Yeah. We've tra as tradition demands, we brought some drinks to formally uh, announce the event. So I'll just take one as a